Look at you, Dustin. Look at that. I would suggest. Yeah, I would suggest. Oh, this is some great behind the scenes content right here. Dustin, keep singing, please, I beg. Oh, oh no. What did I ever do to you? You have to encourage him, didn't you? You really had to. You got a friend in me. Welcome to behind the scenes. And I'm Loki and I'm green. <laughs> Hello peeps, welcome to the behind the scenes of Loki vs Olaf on Freshy Canal 2. I am here with my dear friend, co-director, uh, co-producer, uh, co-writer, uh, costume designer, prop designer, and background artist of this particular battle, Benedict. Da -da -da -da! Or as he, as he goes by, Lawless Marshall. <laughs> it's better for me to just say nothing at this point. So, this is a battle that I've wanted someone to do for a very long time. Um, it, it just involves two of my favourite franchises, Marvel and a series of unfortunate events. And I think that the characters were actually so well suited for each other because they're so over dramatic and self indulgent and obviously love dressing up and pretending to be other people. Um, I it just seemed like a perfect match to me. With Count Olaf, there has to be something unique within, especially when we do the concept of them pretending to be each other as that's their gimmick. Like, you see, this is the unique part of this battle. We are just doing that in this particular battle where... And it's, it's also, I think, one of the only matchups where this is possible, this storyline. Mm. One is pretending to be the other one, and one is pretending to be the other one. Um... Like, okay, you could do it with, like, the TF2 spy and whatnot, but... Yeah, but not with Robbie Rotten. Yeah. So, when talking uh, about doing this in live action, I immediately wanted to build the local costume. Because it's one that I've always wanted to make as a designer, as a costume builder. Um, and it's just got so many fun pieces to it. So I basically begged Dustin to pick an actor in the UK... <laughs> And he did, so that I could make the costume. And then I got to work. So the, the first pieces, obviously, that were made were the 3D printed stuff, the helmet and the scepter. Um, both uh, designs were online, and then just printed those, sanded them down to an insane degree. Like, I swear I've broken my wrist by doing so much sanding. Um, and then I got this fantastic airbrush paint, which is basically like a mirror. So you'll notice that Loki's helmet especially is so reflective and I really like that because it makes it look like um, real metal. We, we came to the costume and we had decided on the Ragnarok costume pretty early on because it was just the simplest to do in the time frame we had. And um, we were faffing about, me and my costume assistant were faffing about and trying to figure out a way to make this this almost tabard piece that you wear it got to a point where we were just chatting and then we decided hang on what would happen if you were to put a leather jacket on backwards <laughs> and that's the entire basis of the costume and it works um you know you've got the cape which covers up most of the zip up the back and just some foam armor pieces and it and it, and it looks like loki which is definitely aided by the fact that lewis looks a lot like loki yeah give me a bigger smile who's a cheeky monkey who's a cheeky monkey yeah <laughs> Bro. I don't like that face you made. So much of a train wreck. So much of a train wreck. 
Yeah. You're placing the train. Fuck you. Train road. Train road. <laughs> railroad scene. Yours placed in a railroad scene. It was so much of a train. I had it literally a second before I said it. I was like, I'm gonna say train. Put more vigor into the point as well. Yeah. All right, Dustin. What we're doing is he's gonna pass. This is gonna be a Sesame Street line. He's gonna pass the scepter to himself, and we figured out a way of doing it. Okay. After all, I'm sure passed from thirsting over my foster daughter. You may have been sneaking and you thought you were a phone guy To kill all fabric painters in Sesame Street And it's after beneath your chest bending your shield I'll give you back your cameras when I get you to kneel You have to take it No, we have to fucking put this back on Jeremy is personally hurt by his cars Then low-key would spit Nah, 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 I have violent diarrhea. Ich need an Vater. It's not German, by the way. How you doing? You doing good? Having a good day? Hope you're having a fun time editing us. Looking through all this sexy footage. After all, I'm sure a from testing over my foster daughter. You may have been sneaking that you thought you were a fun guy. That was good. <laughs> Yo, look, you stink. Fuck off! You're a big fat virgin. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? For the backgrounds, we decided for the throne for Loki and for the stage for Olaf, which I realized um, both backgrounds are the places where these characters wish to be. Yeah. So they're in their ideal background for. With the audio. <clears throat> I knew what speed I wanted to go for. I knew from the start I wanted to do this kind of uh, 110 BPM area um, where it's like the settled back fast wrap. So you usually have like the typical fast wrap that's the 140 trap. But I thought like, okay, I want it to be like a bit more space in there, but where you can go speedy. So both the rappers have a speedy uh, little part there with intricate rhyme schemes. I definitely wanted to make sure that we have some cool flows there, some funny bars and a nice weighed out audio. I swear to God, my hair's ruined, I'm tired, I'm fucking sweaty, this cunt's rapping too fast, I'm gonna find out who you are, I'm gonna fucking kill you, I swear to God. There's no kill your body. I'm gonna fucking kill your waddy waddy, what your <laughs> fucking name is. Jesus. Sorry, Lewis is running on no sleep right now, so don't take offense, but also take offense. Take offense, I'm coming to find you. Hello. Railroad. I can't wait till you play Scarecrow so I can staple fucking hay to your face. <laughs> Pussy the real receiver. Fuck Give you the cold shoulder. Okay. You're leaning over a little. Oh, that's the ledger Hopkins. <laughs> Give you the cold shoulder. That's the ledger Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh shit. I forgot I had to freaking join the stream. Do some, yeah, no. Do some <laughs> if, stuff in the background. If you really want to, I actually have a, a morph suit. <laughs> oh my god, a morph suit? We can do that at the end if you want. Yeah, if you want, we can do morph suit doubles. <laughs> Maybe, like, stand in the background like you did with Walter Wyatt. <laughs> oh my god. For the uh, most. <laughs> 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 yeah, legit just walk around, but we need to be able to use some of it. So like, you know what? Yeah. Just don't be outside the screen too much. 
Like maybe stand inside the screen? <laughs> yes. Yeah, stand inside the screen. Stand inside the screen and do like um <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed the writing and the audio for that. I think we wrote it in three weeks. We built a world of lyrics. Uh. So he's uh he's not here currently. So I'd like to say he's uh he's actually forcing me to do this like by knife point. Like I said I'd, I'd do it, you know, normally. I don't mind this, it's quite fun, you know, it's quite a cool costume. Obviously, he's just throwing it, it's. It's coming back, so I can't go, just. Just help me, please. Yeah!